Hello, matey boys. Hello, matey girls. How the hell are we? I'm a bit worried, to be honest with you, mate. I am worried that this is the beginning of the end of European football as we know it. I think the Saudi Pro League is going to take over absolutely everything. Listen, I am not a conspiracy theorist, but these are some of my thoughts, and I do not want the Saudi Pro League to succeed. Probably quite harsh, but I don't want young players and players in their prime somewhat destroying their career at the top level just for a good payday in the Middle East. I'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section just down below. And please remember, if you're new to the channel, to subscribe just down below. I know around 10 years ago, people were getting a bit worried because China started creeping up and buying a lot of players from Europe and across the world for obscene amounts of money. We are now seeing this again with Saudi Arabia. This is the beginning of Saudi Arabia almost, in my eyes, trying to form their own Super League, handing out ridiculous contracts to lure players to that country. Listen, I have no issue with countries trying to get a grasp of the beautiful game and trying to make a bigger impact in world football. I have completely no issues with that whatsoever, if it's in China, if it's in Saudi, if it's the MLS, if it's anywhere in the world. My thing that I'm scared of is this Super League will entice young players to go there and the Premier League loses its shine. Probably bias, because in my opinion, the Premier League is the greatest league on earth. You have the opportunity to try and win it, try and qualify for Europe, and try and lift either the Europa Conference League, the Europa League, or the Champions League. It doesn't get much better than that. And people will say to me, and I've seen people online as well, well, the Premier League have been buying players for ridiculous prices for years, yes, because it's the Premier League. It is the best league on planet Earth. We've bought players from all over Europe, South America, Africa, beyond. And yes, there is probably levels of major hypocrisy with everyone talking out about this in support of the Premier League. Because over the last 30 years or so, it pretty much has been its own Super League. It's the top, top tier of football leagues all over the world. But the thing is, you, English football and, and European football, and I'm not for one minute slate in the Middle East, it has such a rich history. The first division of English football, which later went in to the Premier League, started over 130 years ago. This history just isn't with the Premier League. It's all over Europe as well. It's the Champions League or the old European Cup. And yes, I know people want to move to the Premier League for money, but they're moving to the best league on planet Earth at the prospect of winning the Premier League title. Saudi to me and this league, and no disrespect, it just seems like a big theme park. You can see the biggest and best stars play against one another. It just seems like a giant exhibition. And I'm not meaning to be disrespectful whatsoever. Best players in the world getting signed on contracts, playing in £50 million a year. It's just a bit of a circus, to be honest with you, mate. I don't care about has-beens going there, to be honest with you. People that just aren't good enough for the Premier League anymore and never were good enough for the Premier League. Benzema could still do it in any league across Europe and still put up phenomenal numbers and he's at the latter stages of his career and he's won absolutely everything. I don't care that the crybaby Cristiano Ronaldo went over there, to be honest. Weren't Al Nasir top of the table when Cristiano Ronaldo signed and then they ended up finishing second? It's just, it's just amazing. So he's not some sort of miracle worker. I'm not fussed that N'Golo Kante has gone. He played right at the highest level in Europe. One Champions League, 
two Premier League titles. But you've got to take into account that a lot of people are moving due to their faith and their religion, which is completely fair enough. This is my main issue. And like I said, I don't care about has-beens. I care about the likes of Bernardo Silva and Ruben Neves moving to the Middle East. Silva, who has just won a treble with Manchester City at the age of 28, is now being linked with a move to Saudi Arabia. I just can't get my head around it. One of the best players in the Premier League, in Europe, and pff, most likely, definitely, even the world. This man wanted to play for Barcelona for years, for God's sake. And that is the move that he should be making. Listen, Barcelona are probably going to make some ballsy moves over the summer transfer window with all of their financial issues that they've been having over the last couple of years. But if Bernardo Silva makes this move, it is a colossal waste of talent in my eyes. And if Silva moves a player that age, in his prime, at the level that he is, if he moves to Saudi, that could change the entire landscape altogether. A lot of other players could gain inspiration from that. Ruben Neves, too, wanted by numbers, so many top six clubs, has shone at Wolves for so many years now and is now on the verge of a move to Saudi Arabia with a potential loan move back to Newcastle. What's going on there? Of course, Newcastle is owned by the state of Saudi Arabia, but there's something quite bizarre that's happening that I'm still trying to wrap my head around. I'm still trying to wrap my head around everything that's going on with Chelsea as well, to be honest with you, mate. With a mass exodus leaving the club and a lot of players, Hakim Ziyech, Kante now going, Mendy on the verge, Koulibaly now gone. Callum hudson Adoy, for God's sake, I saw was linked to Saudi Arabia. So there's something quite bizarre that's going on that I still need to get my head around. The money aspects, everyone says, oh, you try, you're trying to sort your family out for generations to come. You could do that in the Premier League, for God's sakes. You do that in the Premier League. Oscar moved to China for that exact reason. And I'm, I completely understand people trying to help their family out and stuff like that. He's been in China for seven years now and has only won the Chinese Premier League once in those seven years. Like, fair enough, you want to do it. Fair enough. But surely footballers wanting to play at the highest stage want to win the biggest trophies. Listen, it might be quite naive me coming out and saying that. We don't know kind of where people's families are at and he could help quite a lot of people but still at the same time I'm under the impression that and it's probably quite naive and ignorant but you can help your family out and still play Premier League football it's not all about money at the end of the day Oscar sacrificed so much with that move seven years ago not winning top level trophies giving up playing for Brazil. He hasn't been called up for Brazil since 2015, that long ago. He was 24 when he made that move. And I think it's one of the biggest waste of talents we've ever seen in world football. Of course, a lot of money, great. We don't know his family situation. Fair enough, you wanted to sort it out that way. But still, you get a shed load of money for playing in the Premier League. Someone in my comment section went... You'd move to Saudi for £600,000 a week. If I was a pro footballer, which I'm not, because I weigh about 19 stone, I'm a big old boy, I would want to win the biggest prizes in world football. I'd want to get my hands on the Champions League. I'd want to win the Premier League. I'd want to win the Serie A. I'd want to win La Liga. I wouldn't want to win the Bundesliga because that's just... That, that, that's just a Super League in itself with Bayern Munich, for God's sake. Also, I wouldn't be able to deal with the heat. If I could walk around in an air-conditioned box, I would be able to cope. I can't deal with the heats over there, I'm afraid. So just to conclude, 
I just think this is the beginning of the end of European football. It's, it does sound like quite a conspiracy theorist statement, but it's already started. Ronaldo going over there was massive. And now if the likes of Bernardo Silva goes over there, Benzema, who's quite old now, to be frank, but if Bernardo Silva and more younger players in their prime moving over there, we should be very worried, to be honest with you, mate. It's rising. It's happening. This could go away like a fart in the wind, like everything that happened with the Chinese league. But I just can't see it happening. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section just down below. And please remember to do us a massive solid and subscribe just down below. Thank you.